Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to see how to create a program and run a program. So what is a program? A program is nothing but set of instructions to accomplish a task. So for example, addition of two numbers is a task. For that, you are going to write some set of instructions to accomplish the addition. When you are going to write a program, you are going to follow some steps. So what are those steps? One is writing and editing the program. The first step is writing and editing the program. Second one is compile the program. So compiling is nothing but you are writing the program by using the C or any other high level language. Then we need a translator. Why? The computer can understand only machine language. So we need a translator to convert the high level language instruction into machine language instruction. So the compiler can do two things. One is pre-processing and second one is translating. Okay, we discuss. So what is a compiler? Compiler is nothing but it converts the high level language instructions into machine language instructions. After the second step, the third step is linking the program with the required library modules. And the finally, we are going to execute that program. Okay, so now we see, so what is the process we are going to follow when we write and execute the program. What is the first step? The first step is writing and editing the program. So for that, we are going to need one text editor. So let us, so notepad is text editor. Open the notepad. In this notepad, you are going to write the program. Okay, this is the program. You don't think about this main, all these things, brackets. We can discuss in detail in further classes. Okay, so this is the program you are going to write in one text editor. Okay, so after that, what is the second step? So compile the program. So compile is nothing but here, you are writing this program in C language. The system does not understand the C language. So you need to convert the C language instructions into machine language instructions. So we need compiler. What is the purpose of the compiler? The compiler can do two works. One is pre-processing and translating. What is the pre-processing? In these programs, if you are going to use any functions, these functions will be replaced with the definitions. For example, so this is the add function. For this add, we are going to write two instructions. In this program, if I call add 10 times, 10 times. Now, this add is replaced with these definition, two lines. These two lines are placed in this one line. That means, so 20 lines will be appended here. So that is a pre-processing. So after that, we get the entire program. Then you are going to translate this program into machine language instructions. Now, so these are the machine language instructions. So after that, what is the third step? Linking the program with the required library module. So for example, so this is the program. In this program, you are going to use one stdo.h. This is the header file. We can discuss in detail in further classes. Let us, you can remember this. We are going to use some header files. Now, what is the purpose of this stdio.h? Standard input and output function definitions are stored in this header file. From the header files, you are going to place the definitions in this program. So the libraries are available. The linker can take the definitions from the library and place it in the file. Now, this file is executed. That means this file is placed in the primary memory by the processor. Then we get some output. Okay. So now you see, so this is the first step. In this step, we call this as a source file. This is the source file. After compilation, we get some file. This file we are called as a object file. Dot obj file. So after linker, we get some file. So this file we are called as a executable file. Executable file. After executing this file, we get some output. 
so this we are called as a result okay this is the source file after compilation we get object file after linking the libraries we get executable file after execution we get some output that we are called as a results so these are the steps you are going to follow when you are write and execute the programs